committee room 29. Yeah, I think that's us good to go now. Okay, so if members are content, we'll, we'll crack on with the agenda. Um, first item on the agenda is apologies. Um, I did have apologies for some people, but I can see that they're actually they're joining yeah. us. On so um, I think... Sinead, I had uh, an engagement that was cancelled, and I, I now I'm able to come in on meeting, but I do need to leave at half past because it's been cancelled to half past one, Okay. Okay, no problem, Sean. And I have an apology from Patsy. Is there any other apologies? No, I don't think so. Okay, if members are content, we'll move on. So next item on the agenda is declaration of members' interests. Um, just a reminder that members are obliged to declare any and all relevant um, financial or other interests before and during each committee meeting. So uh, do members have anything they want to declare under... Uh, Members' interests? Uh, yes, Sinead. Uh, two items to declare. One, that I have raised a complaint against another MLA, and secondly, that there are two complaints against me, just in case those issues come up later on. Okay, I appreciate that, um, Steve. Thank you. Um, okay, so just, uh, just a reminder as well, as we move through the um, the agenda, if, if, you know, if people spot a... a, a, a a place where they should be declaring a, um, a member or sorry, a declaration of interest, uh, even for any of the proposed APGs, just just indicate. Um, so we'll move on to item three, and that's the draft minutes of the meeting held on the 4th of November. Um, if I can just refer members to the minutes in your pack, um, pages 6 to 11 of the meeting pack. Um, I'm sure members have had a chance to look over them. So um, if members are content with those minutes, I'll approve them. Is there any matters arising out of the minutes? No. Okay, no problem. So we'll move on to item four, and that is matters arising. Um, so 4.1 uh, is decisions made understanding order 1159. Um, so just to advise members that uh, the paper at pages um, 13 to 16 of your pack outlines the decisions that were made under temporary standing order 1159 since the committee last met. Um, so that that's for noting members um, and uh, the decisions that will now be formally recorded um, in the minutes of the proceedings for today's meeting. Um, so if anybody has any other matters arising uh, since the last meeting, um, if they want to indicate, if not, we'll move on. Okay, no members are indicating. So we'll move on to the next item and that is item number five, the all party group update. And that will be, the briefing on that is at page 18 of your pack. Um, an application has been received to establish a new MPG on press freedom and media sustainability. Uh, the registration form for the proposed group can be found at pages 19 to 22 of the meeting pack. Um, under the rules which govern MPGs, the committee must consider whether to grant approval for the establishment of new groups um, and the, the committee may want to grant recognition if, if it is content uh, that the proposed group complies with the rules um, or we may request um, if any members wish to do so clarification from the group uh, the proposed sure, groups go ahead mine appears on the membership list okay thank you Stuart um, okay, so are, are, is the committee content to approve the application for the APG on press freedom and media sustainability? Yeah, okay. No, no issues with that. Um, okay, so if we move on to the next item then, which um, is going to be conducted in closed session, can I get agreement that we are happy to move into closed session? And this will be for the remainder of the meeting. Um, Thank you. Uh, okay, members, we're now going to move into closed session. Um, so can I ask that the Assembly Broadcasting ensure uh, the Starleaf session is now in the format uh, of a standard call. Um, we will be in closed session for the remainder of the meeting. Um, so if members can just take their ease for just a few moments, uh, we'll let the committee secretary... This is the Northern Ireland Assembly.